right folks so it is day 142 of the year and it is about 10 a.m. in the morning and uh, since uh, turkey burger situation worked out so well yesterday I am going to go make me another one for breakfast so I'm gonna go get that done and I will see you in a few minutes So I got my turkey burger made, and uh, so I didn't put any condiments on it this time. It's just the cheese. I did add a little uh, pepper, vinegar, barbecue to the bottom of the top of it while it's cooking. And uh, it's pretty good. Done all the way through. Not overcooked. I like that air fryer method of cooking these. In fact, I think air fryer might be the best method for cooking the frozen ones. Because <clears throat> on the grill, these things get done really quick and they don't really have time to uh, soak up a lot of the smoke flavor. Because uh, with them being frozen, there's like a barrier <laughs> that keeps. Uh, the smoke from penetrating deep down into the meat so I think with those you're better off uh, preheating your grill and uh, getting some fresh ground turkey and patting out your own uh, for those for that type of situation And then on top of that, poultry cooks a lot faster than uh, beef or pork. So you have to really uh, be careful with that too, depending on the type of grill you're using. With uh, my pellet grill, you know, I got that temperature control going on, so I can slow cook even these, I guess. We'll try it one day, but not today. Added me a little cheese on there this time. That's a perfect little breakfast to start your day. I'm gonna have to try to find me some uh, turkey sausage and check out that too uh, for breakfast as well. <clears throat> That is very good. I can't complain. <laughs> I give Oscar the last bite and he had that thing eat before I eat my last bite. And I took mine first. <laughs> I think he inhaled it. Well, it is Sunday. We will uh, see what we can get into in a little while until then. You folks stay tuned for that.
All right, so it's a little after four, and I am fixing to make some turkey sloppy joe. Uh, just ground turkey and regular manwich sloppy joe sauce. Uh, I'm learning as I go on this politarian diet, so if I do something wrong, don't hold it against me, but I think all of that is fine ingredients for me to have, so we're going to have it. Alright folks, so I'm gonna shed some light on me. Oh, I forgot my lights. Ah lights. That's what I use for my light. <laughs> it's cheap and it's effective. Alright, so it is the end of the day once again and uh, another day of politary now. Today worries me a little bit as far as my scale weigh-in goes tomorrow, but not that much. I mean, not that much, because I know uh, even if I do pick up uh, some kind of little slight gain off of today, uh, I can easily undo it with this uh, politarian lifestyle. Trust me. Trust me on that one. Uh, I ate a little more today. I guess I did. Uh, I, I'm really not too worried about it because my results have been good this week. Oh my god, they've been so good. Uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, I have yet to put this thing into full effect. I mean, there is uh, methods and ways that I can use this uh, new lifestyle to boost weight results that I have yet to put in place. And oh my god. Uh, the way I've been eating uh, and dropping weight this week has been simply incredible. I have eaten a lot of sandwich type situations as you notice throughout the week. You know bread what they say you're not supposed to have. Uh, it is strange. It is strange to me. Uh, how just uh, taking the uh, red meat out has uh, really boosted uh, weight loss results uh, to this extent. Um, I know for a fact that I've been researching a lot of that, a lot of that this week now. First of all, I want to just say uh, I am not against red meat. <laughs> I love me a steak, and at some point, you know, uh, if I'm in a gathering situation where there's a lot of steak to be eaten or if there's uh, an anniversary coming up or something I plan on having me a steak you know just suffering the consequences of that uh, with this uh, red meat sensitivity that I have going on I'm pretty sure that's what I have going on though uh, it is not serious. I mean, like I said, you can look it up for yourself. The alpha-gal syndrome, people have different severities of it. I have never experienced any kind of anaphylaxis, but I can tell you uh, five to six hours after I eat it, 
uh, especially when I'm dozing off and going to sleep, I have anxiety, like <clears throat> anxiety, wake up gasping, breath, anxiety, you know, racing heart, uh, all of that has gone away without the red meat. I know that's what it is. I know the culprit is, is the tick bite. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on with me. And I'm pretty darn sure that is why I struggled on, or struggled on keto. I had those symptoms a lot on keto. But, you know, I've been used to dealing with them for years. Um, I've said it a couple times already. I've been checked out. Uh, I've uh, walked the treadmill, I've had the dye run through my veins to see if there was any blockages and all of those results come back fine. Uh, uh, the weird thing about that is I, I, I spent a day, I, I can't remember how exactly that day went. And I know <laughs> this was way back before uh, Gosh, if I had to put a year on it, I can't, I can't think. It'd be around 2014 or 2015, somewhere around there. Uh, but like I said, I, I've had these uh, issues, you know, since since a few tick bites uh, for a long time. I've had more tick bites since then. So, <laughs> so uh, I, I think that alpha-gal uh, syndrome is what they call it. Is uh, affects me and it affects it affects thousands of people. Uh, I have not been tested for it. Like I said, I don't have time for that right now. Uh, I just saw some news coverage on it last week, uh, and they were describing the symptoms. And I said, and, and you know, the part where they said it could show up uh, uh, five to seven hours after you ingest the red meat because it doesn't happen right away. Uh, that that's when you know that 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 made they said that that made it hard to diagnose. That makes it hard for them to diagnose or pin down what the problem is. And the first thing they put you through is those uh, uh, cardiac tests, like I went through while walking that treadmill. And I'm here to tell you, I was a big guy, and they said that they were impressed with how I handled that treadmill and I walked it the way I did. Cause uh, they start you out. Uh, now it wasn't to the extreme of what uh, you're doing, Tiff. I know what you're thinking, but it was it was a pretty intense walk for me. And they inclined that thing and and sped it up, you know. And I had to keep up with that thing. And and I was able to do it for the entire test like a trooper at my big old weight, whatever that was back then. I can't remember what my weight was back then, but. Uh, you know, everything come back fine, and I still dealt with the symptoms off and on, and they just said it was anxiety, you know, uh, uh, pretty much, you know, told me to, uh, get on some medication for anxiety, which I, I never did, uh, <laughs> I would just, uh, you know, uh, take a sip on a Whittison's medicine, <laughs> every now and then, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Hey, and, and trust me, that does the trick. That would that that calm you down every time. Yeah, that's that's my method. Uh, but yeah, I I just never felt the need to go put on any kind of uh, medication. I I just don't like medications to begin with, unless it's you know a life saving medication that I ha that I would die if I didn't take. You know, I would probably look into that. Uh, but I just never did. But. uh I cannot tell y'all how much better I have slept, I have felt, and, you know, and, and that's another thing that told me to lay off the caffeine that I've never done. Uh, and, and, you know, there's, of course there's been days, you know, where I didn't drink caffeine, you know, to try it out or whatever, you know. Uh, for a while I was uh, drinking a lot of that uh, Mio, you know, for uh, flavored water and, uh, drinking unsweetened tea and uh, stuff like that every now and then you know trying to lay off the soda so much and uh, even on a week where I was drinking nothing but Mio I still would have the issues going on so 
I, I figured it was not the caffeine, you know, it's just gonna happen anyway. I might as well, you know, do what I enjoy. Uh, drink what I enjoy, you know. I've always had sodas with my meal. That's what you always see me have those diet sodas with my meal. Uh, uh, even if I'm in a social gathering, you know, where people are drinking, uh, I can have me some drinks, but I cannot have those drinks to wash my meal down. I have to have my diet soda for my meal. That's just uh, part of my DNA. <laughs> just gotta have it. Uh, and, you know, and if I couldn't have caffeine, I'd just switch to a, ca a decaffeinated diet soda is what I would do. Um, uh, not like the, uh, decaffeinated dark drinks. I can handle the Sprites, you know, the, the Sprite Zeros and the uh, Diet 7-Ups, that type of uh, diet soda. And that's, that's what I should really drink more of with my meals is those. I need to uh, invest in more of those. They're cleaner. Uh, and uh, they stay with you a lot less, and they didn't, they're uncaffeinated. I, I, I really should uh, invest in those. I think that would be a, at least a step forward anyway. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it is uh, strange uh, how good I feel. Now, like I said, you know, I, I ate the uh, turkey burger this morning, and, uh, oh, and uh, I didn't mention it, but... Uh, that I went to Sonic, me and my wife uh, stopped at Sonic and uh, I didn't realize you could get onion rings in place of uh, french fries and uh, tater tots as usually they give you a choice of 22 but uh, what I got was a chicken wrap and it had two good sized pieces of uh, grilled chicken in it and lettuce and tomato and a little mayo situation going on in there and uh, man that thing was good that thing was ultra good and uh, I really enjoyed that and then uh, let's see uh, I got the uh, onion rings with it which are breaded with uh, cornmeal they got cornmeal breading on theirs which is you know fine for what I can have uh, not sure what kind of oil they cook it in uh, technically I'm not supposed to eat in anything cooked in animal fat oil uh, because uh, that affects the alpha gal syndrome if that is what I have. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it it's that's what it is. Uh, what else could it be? Uh, what else could it be? Um, <laughs> I, I've uh, been tested for so many things, but all I can tell you is doing without it has made me feel a lot better. I, I don't even need to go get a test. Uh, I know I got enough common sense about me to know that I feel better by eliminating it. And uh, I'm not going to become one of those cow haters. No, hell no, that's not me. That's not me, man. I, I, I want to eat my uh, steak and my uh, <laughs> my bacon double cheeseburgers and stuff, man. I'm going to miss those. So, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, I don't miss them so bad that uh, I want to have the uh, health, uh, health scares anymore. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll move forward. Uh, Say, so I had enough weight loss that even if I have a slight gain, I've got my scale weight for the past couple of days coming up in tomorrow's video. So when I'm talking about a slight gain, I'm talking about a slight gain from what I weighed this morning. And it's going to be still uh, less weight overall than the last time you seen me on the scale, which was Monday. So uh, anyway, anyway, I look at it as a good situation, okay? And... Uh, like I say, you know, I can do a few days without bread. I can eat some amazing, you know, like grilled chicken Caesar salads or Greek grilled chicken salads and stuff like that uh, throughout this week. Uh, just that alone, uh, doing out, doing the politician that way, you know, with and skipping on the bread a few days will uh, definitely shed some pounds because uh, it is definitely a cleaner way of eating. That is for sure. Uh, I, I am pretty sure I've rambled on way too much uh, for tonight, and I'm going to continue to explore this and talk about it as I go along, and uh, uh, I am glad you are here to witness this. This was not my plan. 
my plan was and, and, and oh before I go the intermittent fasting is always going to be part of the plan even even as a politarian type of diet because I think that is still the main uh, main way you know that I'm able to maintain and continue to lose because uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you know if I was and, and like I say I move my <laughs> I said this week I move my window and I've still been dropping even though I move my window from 10 to 6 you know I like being able to uh, pick up my daughter and come home and eat something especially while my wife's working uh, that works out well uh, for me because uh, when I when when you see me and her eat together at a Mexican restaurant or somewhere it's because uh, she doesn't have a client and uh, we do that in between time to pick up my daughter so sometimes yeah I just go get my errands run you know whatever shopping I need to get done before I go home to bring back to the house and uh, I would just prefer to come home and sit down and eat something that I cook here like one of them simple turkey burgers which I love those I'm loving those uh, it's a different kind of love than a cheeseburger love though I, I like it because of the versatility of it it's uh, it's poultry and you know it tastes so it tastes good with so many different kinds of sauces and stuff that I can put on there and try out and just cook them different ways it makes you to where you don't get tired of them quite so much I'm gonna try out different brands of those as we go along I have so many plans that uh, this is going to keep me busy for a while and uh, I'm excited about it uh, I'm depressed <laughs> that, that I'm not going to be eating my uh, usual red meat but the only things I really got to give up that I really, really would like to have as far as red meat goes, the, the main two things is the steak and uh, and the uh, uh, burgers, of course. And, oh, and the, and the pulled pork. Well, the pulled pork is not so much a big deal since I can, uh, I can just do shredded chicken and... Uh, you know put my favorite barbecue sauce on there and uh, uh that's that's good enough for me that's that's a good enough situation to call it the same thing even though it's not the same thing it's actually healthier than than the pork anyway so i guess it's a good thing because uh i'll still be able to eat my barbecue throughout the summer y'all yes that makes me happy uh i just can't eat uh plain pork roast no more uh which has a flavor all on its own that chicken does not have but you know in a barbecue sauce situation yeah I can just deal with the chicken and that's what I'll do I'll just deal with the barbecue sauce situation and it'll be fine it's gonna be fine everything's gonna be okay alright folks until tomorrow y'all have a good one mm -hmm.